Hey Guru Nation, welcome back to the Clinical Trials Guru.com. 2018 is busy for those watching in the future. It's January 31st, 2018. It's going to be the busiest year on record. It's on pace to be the busiest year on record so far since I've been involved in clinical research. Maybe ever. Somebody's got to look up the data on clinicaltrials.gov. I'm sure it is. So, this video is going to be how to retain your employees, especially if you're a research site. But this could also apply to the CROs too and some of the vendors. So how to retain employees because what happens, everyone loves a great market, but one of the negatives of it, because it, it's a double-edged sword, right? This thing slices both ways. Um, great market, a lot of studies, a lot of opportunities, but salaries go up in this kind of environment and people jump ship to go to other companies, competing companies. Because people, companies, need more qualified employees, right? CROs need more CRAs. They're jumping ship all the time. Sites need coordinators. They're jumping ship. CROs hire coordinators to be CRAs. So how do you retain? What I like to do, I like to pay on the north end of fair. So whatever's fair in your market, put a little premium on it. Okay, so now they're, they're considered well paid. Okay. Now, tie it up with incentives. Okay. So, what we do at Global Clinical Trials, we do quarterly profit sharing with the coordinator. We do 4%, I want to say. It might be 5, I got to check with Chris, but somewhere where you feel comfortable, you got to do the math and figure out what your net profit is and how much of that you're willing to give as an incentive to your coordinator every quarter so that they continue working. Because another thing that happens in a good market is sites get busy and then a lot of work accumulates and then sometimes the coordinators want to slow down because there's a lot of work going on right and you don't want that as a business person you want to increase revenues another thing you might want to consider is bring in some help and how do you know when you need to bring in help uh, if your coordinator is having multiple patient visits a day or a CRA every week or some sites a CRA every day there's no way they can do all that and be a coordinator at the same time um, you'll see a lot of queries uh, that haven't been answered which is not good because sponsors are keeping track of all these things so pay attention to that um, you might see a lack of regulatory binder maintenance so you might see a lot of things unfiled a lot of monitoring letters unfiled talk to your CRAs and see where you stand with your coordinator talk to your coordinator ask if they're overworked and if they can use an assistant they'll let you know those are the things you got to worry about in this kind of a market and our, our February webinar is gonna be all about how to make sure that your employees are not being overworked and when you need when you need to bring in help for them so salary the webinar will be a little bit on salary employee retention and uh, how to assess their workload for a study coordinator, but this could apply for series too. It's just different uh, metrics. So thank you everyone for watching. Stay tuned for that webinar in February. And this is Dan from the clinicaltrialsguru.com. Take care.